hours before the full moon that day, the evil witch Rosa excitedly took the wish necklace in her hand. She stood by the window and looked up at the sky because only a few hours later, she was going to be able to make her wish. When the full moon comes tonight, I will be the most powerful witch in the whole country! Meanwhile, the beloved princess of the country, Beauty, and Prince Richard set off on a dangerous journey with their horses to take back the magic necklace. We must hurry, princess! We must reach the castle before the full moon! As Beauty and Prince Richard walked through the dark forest, a white fog covered the entire forest. Because of the fog, neither the prince nor Beauty could see around. The horse they were riding turned off the road and ran into the depths of the forest in a hurry. Prince, where are we going like this? Nothing is visible. A snake crawled out of the trees. When the snake got around the horse's feet, the horse reared up in fear. So much so that he almost knocked the prince and princess off. Calm down! Hey! Stop! Stop! But the horse was not calmed by the words of the prince. In the end, he threw the prince and princess off his back in one ah! move. The horse slammed his hooves and disappeared into the fog. Prince Richard and Beauty stared after their horses. They couldn't continue on their way when the dark forest was in the fog. In that state, we'll never find Rosa's castle, my prince. What are we going to do? However, time was running fast. The full moon was almost complete through the fog. Soon, the bushes beside them began to rustle. Hey, who's there? You can't scare us! Beauty noticed a fluffy black and white tail close by. Just as she was about to reach out and touch her hand, a skunk jumped on her. Ha! Don't touch my tail! Tell me, what are you looking for in this dark forest? A skunk? No! We have to stuff our noses! Why, no! I only admit a foul odor to the wicked! Huh! Prince Richard and Beauty breathed a sigh of relief. Oh, dear skunk, we have to go to the palace where the witch Rosa lives. But we lost our way because of the fog. Can you help us? The skunk began to tremble with fear as he heard the name of the witch Rosa. He hid in the bushes and stuck his head out curiously. Oh, Witch Rosa! But she's so dangerous! Beauty and Prince Richard told the skunk what had happened to them and the magic necklace. So if we can't get there before the full moon, Witch Rosa will be more powerful and even worse! So the little skunk agreed to help them. The skunk found the paths to the castle with such dexterity that Beauty and Richard followed him in amazement. Here we are, the castle of the Witch Rosa. I won't go inside, but I'll wait for you here. Beauty and Prince Richard were just about to enter the castle when a white light hit them. This was the light of the completed full moon. No! no! Full, full moon! moon! At that moment, the ugly witch Rosa appeared at the window. She lifted her wish necklace towards the full moon and imprisoned all the light of the full moon. The stars went out one by one, and the moon looked like a rock to them. Oh, wish necklace! Bless me with the light of the full moon! I wish you to make me the most powerful and evil witch in the country! As soon as the witch Rosa made her wish, the lights trapped in the necklace surrounded her. Beauty and the prince, who were watching with amazement, hid in fear. Rosa has turned into a much more beautiful and powerful witch than ever before. 
Now her eyes could see more sharply, and she could smell better. I know you are here, but you're late! <laughs> Before long, the witch Rosa wished that Beauty and Prince Richard were trapped in the cellar. Both of them disappeared with a bang in their hiding place. The skunk was surprised by what happened. Oops, I'd better help them! He quickly dug a hole on the edge of the castle. Gradually, he suddenly found himself in the hall of the witch Rosa. Ah, it smells worse than me in here! The little skunk saw the necklace they were talking about on the table. He was about to take the necklace, but then the witch Rosa noticed him. What are you doing in my castle, you filthy thing? Get out of here right now! Out, out! At that moment, the skunk quickly stamped his feet. Then, the famous bad smell of the skunk was all over the place. Ah, oh, what a disgusting smell! Just as the witch Rosa was about to catch him, she passed out under the influence of the smell. <sighs> Taking this opportunity, the skunk took the necklace and went down to the cellar of the castle. Skunk? With his tiny body, the skunk passed through the bars and handed the wish necklace to Beauty. Beauty and Prince Richard were delighted by the skunk's bold move. Beauty immediately put the necklace around her neck and listed her wishes. I wish all three of us would get out of here. And the witch Rosa, um, ah, should turn into a mouse, dear wish necklace. As soon as she made her wish, they found themselves safely in the palace. Dear skunk, we would never have survived without you. Do you want to live with us in this great palace as our best friend from now on? The skunk enthusiastically accepted this offer of beauty. Because for the first time in his life, he felt that helping each other and having a warm home was a good feeling. On the other hand, Rosa, the witch who had turned into a mouse, seemed to go crazy the moment she saw herself in the mirror. Wh what's that? Ah, help! Unaware of everything, her sluggish cat, Mirmir, Mir, has been running after the mouse all night. I am your owner! Uh, I mean, I'm your best friend, of course! Let me go, Mir Mir! Leave! Adi Sebaba.